Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to enable Momentum Cache on your Crucial SSD drive. Momentum Cache is supposed to give you better performance on your Crucial SSD drive. It is part of a free tool from Crucial called Crucial Storage Executive. So I'm gonna show you how to download this, how to install it, how to enable Momentum Cache, and most importantly, I'm gonna talk about some precautions you need to make so that you don't get corrupted data when you enable Momentum Cache. So let's go to screen recording to show you all this. So let's start by downloading Crucial Storage Executive from crucial.com. So open your web browser and go to this URL, crucial.com slash support slash storage dash executive. And here, click on download to download the storage executive suite. And let's save it. So it is a zip file. We need to extract it and then install it. When the file is downloaded, go to the downloads folder. So you can click here to go to the downloads folder, or of course you can also go to the downloads folder in another way. So this is a downloads folder. We need to extract it, right click on it, and then choose extract all, and then extract. So this is a storage executive Windows installation file. Double click on it and then choose yes to install it. Follow the prompts to install it. So here I want it in English, and then next, next. You need to accept the agreement to install it, and then next. And here it will ask you if you wanna create a desktop shortcut. Yeah, I'm gonna create a desktop shortcut so that to launch it. And here it is installed. So I'm gonna click on finish, and then I'm gonna launch it from the desktop. If you're prompted, click yes. You need to give it a moment to start because it's now scanning your system. So here it is. I'm going to maximize it so to show you. And you notice that storage executive suite has many other functions than momentum cache. If you want me to cover these other functions, please leave me a comment in the comments section below and I'll be happy to cover all these functions. So now what we are interested in is momentum cache. So click on momentum cache. And if you have many crucial drives in your PC, choose a crucial drive that you want to enable Momentum Cache on. So Crucial will tell you that Momentum Cache can be enabled only on the Windows Boot Drive. And all the partitions that are on the Windows Boot Drive will benefit from Momentum Cache. So here it selected the drive automatically. So I have this P5 Plus 2TB drive. And you have this warning here. So I'm going to take a moment to talk about this warning. So in case you have a laptop, you don't have this warning here because your laptop has a battery and storage executive will detect this battery. But here, because I have a desktop and this will be the case in any desktop, even if you have a UPS connected to your desktop. So here it's telling you because crucial momentum cache writes the data first to the cache of the drive and then flushes it to the drive, you may lose data if the power like is lost unexpectedly on your PC. So to avoid this on a desktop PC, and if you have like critical information, I advise you to connect your PC to an interruptible power supply, which is called UPS. So this way, if you lose power, you can gracefully shut down your PC. And just before enabling Momentum Cache, close all the programs and save all your data because it will restart the PC automatically. It will give you a minute, of course, to restart the PC. So here I'm going to click on Enable Momentum Cache. And here is the warning telling you that reboot is required. So I'm going to click on Enable Momentum Cache and I'm going to come back when the PC restarts. So now the PC restarted. I'm going to start Crucial Storage Executive to make sure that Momentum Cache is enabled and to show you how you'll see if it is enabled also. So let's check it here. And you see here that Momentum Cache is enabled. If you want to see how Momentum Cache affects the performance of your Crucial SSD drive, I have previously made a video on this. You can find the link to this video in the description below. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.